I think political cartoons are actually both for the reader and for the creator of cartoons. Uh, cartooning is actually a very good way to digest all the atrocities and stupidity of the world and of the news. It is sometimes hard to go through the news and see uh, what's going on in this crazy world, but cartooning, doing cartoons about it, it actually helps. And humor helps us alleviate uh, the pain and the weight of the world. And, um, and actually, uh, when I'm looking at, yes, I'm, I'm looking at the news, I'm seeing a lot of, of bad news and, and, and terrible pictures, but when I see the social media feeds of my kids, there's more violence there than uh, in the cycle of the news. So cartooning helps and humor helps us. As an antidote? Humor helps us as an antidote and uh, we need it as much as the air we breathe. I think uh, humor is what uh, helps us make sense of this crazy world. There is no logic in the world, but through humor we, we can make sense of the world. So my job is to find a shortcut, really. The political cartoon is a, is a shortcut that uh, court circuits your brain and goes straight to the heart or strikes you. I mean, you, you understand it in a snap. It can punch you in the face as well. That's the power and the strength of cartoons. This said, it's not that easy to find the right balance. For me, the perfect cartoon strikes a balance between uh, the depth of what it is saying and actually the lightness of the form. It has to be funny, it has to seem funny and light, but uh, if it's really good, it will tell something deep. And after you have smiled or maybe laughed, you will think for three seconds. Looking for the perfect gem, the perfect cartoon is not easy. Sometimes simple is really difficult and it takes, uh, I give myself two hours looking up ideas four, five, six different IDs and sketches for one final cartoon. And, uh, and it, it's sometimes for an hour and a half, I have nothing. And uh, the easiest images are not the easiest to come up with. Um, it takes time and uh, it's more sophisticated than it seems, even to find a good joke. So it's work actually. Humor and cartooning works best with an audience that is close to you because it's in your culture, it's people around you, and you can share the same sense of humor. This said, I've been always interested in my career in reaching out to different audiences. I wanted to work for the New York Times and I did for 20 years because I was interested in trying to find the way to make people laugh and think in you know, not only in your sphere, but all around the world in different cultures. And reaching out is, is I think, one of the beautiful things that cartooning allows because uh, it's based on language, yes, but not always. Sometimes the simple image can travel all around the world. So one cartoon does not need to be translated and you can speak to the world with one simple image. For me, an effective message has to, to, to touch your heart and, and gets you to understand without thinking too much about it. So that's effective communication. Now, um, it would be nice if it's also uh, authentic and real. It doesn't go together, not always. Uh, you can do effective communication through propaganda. But uh, in any way, if it's authentic, I think it's, 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 it's the best way to communicate, it's being authentic and, and speaking to the individual you're trying to touch. Like, it's hard to communicate on, on, on big catastrophes. The only way to get people to relate is to communicate a single human story. I think empathy and the human story are the best ways to get people to understand the larger picture. Um, and I've seen that through comics reportage, when I want to talk about 9-11 um, in New York, when I want to talk about war in Lebanon, when I want to talk about the gangs in Guatemala, I tell human stories and I go for the empathy of the reader. I don't try to make a, a whole case uh, and, uh, you know, statistics and stuff like, like that do not speak to the heart of the people. Being Swiss helped me in many ways because we are the neutral Swiss. 
uh, harmless and uh, we don't have a history uh, of colonialism or others. So you come, you come in uh, complicated places, uh, places of conflict, and you say, I'm Swiss. And that's, it's true that it's a magic pass. Uh, people are maybe more willing to accept you as a, as a neutral presence. Uh, which is of course not true because we are uh, we live in a in a culture and we have the prejudice of our culture, but it's true that it helps uh, to have a minimum of prejudice in other people uh, welcoming of you. And um, so being Swiss is a magic ingredient, I must say. And the cartoon, uh, the very simple power of cartoons, is the other magic ingredient. So as a Swiss cartoonist, I could go to many places and do many projects where it would have been complicated to do them as an American or a French guy. That's true.